Hello and welcome, my name is Andrew Peel, and first off I want to thank everybody for all of the positive feedback on the Blender demonstration video that I released. Um, I do need to apologize though because there was a lot of information that I didn't explain about how this project got started and where it's headed, so naturally there was a lot of questions and speculation, so I just want to take some time to help clear up all the details of this project. So the interior design tools that I demonstrated are part of an application that's currently being developed for a company I work for called Microvellum. Now their users are primarily engineers, CAD drafters, and cabinet manufacturers, but there's been a growing need to create an easy to use but powerful 3D design system. Now since I was already familiar with Blender and had some experience developing these types of solutions in the past since I've been working for Microvellum, I started on my own time to extend the Blender tools to build the solution. Now after some development time, I had a prototype available that I demonstrated to Microvellum, and at that point, they put me on this project full time, along with some financial support to help hire some more developers and turn this project into a polished, stable application. So that's how Fluid Designer got started, uh, but let me explain a little bit more about the application. So Fluid Designer is going to be a freely distributed open source application under the same license as Blender. And you might be asking, well, if it's going to be free and open source, why would Microvellum fund this project? And the reason is, is because they've developed a way to read the manufacturing and estimating information out of the Blender data. And all of the manufacturing and estimating tools are products that Microvellum has been selling commercially for over a decade now. And so these tools won't be provided with Fluid Designer. But everything else that I've shown, all of the design tools, the asset creation tools, everything that's developed in Blender will be a part of the open source model. So we're going to be releasing the source code for this soon, but there's still some development work that needs to be done to provide the source code to the community. And it's mainly just because Microfilm has some of their manufacturing tools exposed in Blender Source, so we just need to kind of work out some of the technical details on that. But the main thing that I want to get across is that I've been working on these tools for a long time now, and I'm just as excited to give you these tools as you are to get them. So I'm going to try to make that happen as soon as I possibly can. So until we have these tools available, we are looking to hire some experienced Blender developers to help us build some specific functionality. And we're also setting up a way for any Blender user to be able to sell their parametric assets to the users who are using Fluid Designer professionally. Whether they're a manufacturing company or an independent designer, we feel that it's really important for the Blender community to make money so we can keep extending Blender's functionality as well as the user base. So that's going to go ahead and do it for this video. We're going to be releasing some more information on this project in the next couple days. And if there's any specific areas that you would like to see explained, uh, just let us know online. Or for now, if you want, you can subscribe to this YouTube channel. We'll be posting all of the development updates on there. Or if you prefer Twitter, you can follow us on Twitter as well. So I would like to thank everyone for watching this, and we'll be posting some more information very soon.